Hey, how you doing? This is Steven Tosher, and uh, this is more of a uh, sentimental video. Growing up across the street, there was this place we used to call Stonehenge, me and my friends. We'd go there to play football, we learned how to do cartwheels, we even, um, we saw our friends get hurt, break their legs, cut themselves open. And one thing, no matter if it was 3 o'clock in the morning and you were having an argument with your family or you had a breakup, is you could go over to this, this big white stone that we used to call Stonehenge with a grate on it. And it used to have hot air pouring out of it in the winter and cold air coming out of it in the summer. It was the perfect escape. But the great thing about Stonehenge and why it was so peaceful was this massive multiple hundred year old willow tree that used to sit there and sway in the wind on those hot summer days and give you protection from the wind in the winter. It was that tree that kind of was a grandfather for all of us. I had about 10 or 15 friends that grew up in this neighborhood that knew it very well. We could all see it from our apartment buildings. We could throw a stone from here to there. And sadly, I think because of a lightning storm or because of the sheer weight of the size of the tree, it split in half. Yeah, you can see here the tree is just split in half. And you saw it earlier in the video, you know, it was just huge, massive tree. And right underneath it, if you just uh, follow my finger right there, that's where Stonehenge used to be. And the tree used to be all on the outline here. And now it's all blocked off. You know, that's the funny thing about changes in life, is that maybe it's time for myself to move on. Maybe I have to do other things. And maybe like that tree, it has to change for other kids to climb up it and have fun underneath it and to just have another a life, a second chance. For most of us, we need that second chance and we need to move forward. And I just hope and I pray that you all you know, see this video and you all think of those things that are close to you or that maybe seem insignificant to others but are close to you in particular and you cherish those things because you never know when it will actually change or it will disappear. I'm Steven Tosher with a sentimental video about my tree.